Welcome to Marty's Toy Box. For today's video, we're going to be going over some of the rarest Jax action figures. You guys did see last week the rarest um, Mattel action figures. Now this week, we're going over the rarest Jax action figures. Again, in no particular order. Um, but yeah, so starting off, this is the Jax Classic Superstars 1 of 100 Undertaker figures. He comes with the urn, the title, his hat, and then of course his um, entrance gear that he wore. Um, again, it's one of 100, so there's only a hundred out there, which makes this a really rare figure. Um, and whoever has this figure in their collection is definitely lucky because I would kill to have this in my collection. Such a cool figure. Next up on the list, we do have the Jax Classic Superstars Rowdy Rowdy Piper, one of 3,000. Now, 3,000 sounds like a big number, but in the action figure collecting community, it's actually a really low number. And also, this came out a while ago, so the probability that half of these are already opened and were played with with um, kids... Um, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Like, kids unbox it, and they put it with this action figure. Um, is very high, so there's probably only a couple hundred that are fully mint. Box not damaged, um, and just the figure inside of it. The box might be damaged, and that still will be a hefty price. So, one of 3,000 sounds like a big number, but in reality, it's not really that big of a number. But nonetheless, a very cool and rare figure. Next up on the list, we do have the Ultimate Warrior Classic Superstars Collector Series um, Warrior. Now, this one is signed by Ultimate Warrior right here, as you can see. There is a certificate down here, which I think is very cool. Um, you can hand this item in question. This item in question is from the private collection of Stephen Wilton, manager of Warrior Entertainment and CEO of Rival Designs Unlimited. This is more of a, um, in the last video you saw the Cement Ultimate Warrior, um, the Defining Moments one. This one's kind of like that, but he has, like, paint on the figure, which I think is very cool. And what also makes this figure one of the rarest ones of, for Ultimate Warrior is the signature on it, Rest in Peace to Him. Um... Nonetheless, a very cool figure. Next up, we do have the classic Superstars Jerry Briscoe. Um, this was a collector's series as well. Um, There's not really a limited number of this, but um, it's just harder to come by. Uh, maybe not that many people wanted it back then, and now it's rare. Or just they had a very low stock number for Jerry Briscoe. But, very hard to come by, and if you do come across it, it is at a hefty, hefty price. Um, so yeah, so next up we do have Hulk Hogan, um, Jack's Classic Superstars, this is one of 100, so definitely really rare. Again, um, one of 100 is a very low number, plus all the ones that were unboxed, um, when wrestling fans had this figure as a kid. He comes with a little um, trophy, it looks like, right here. And I can't really tell what this is, but it is one of 100. As you can see, this one, this person is smart. They have theirs in a plastic, like a fully, fully rectangular plastic prism to keep the figure from not getting damaged. So, one of 100. So, this figure is really, really, really rare. Um, yeah, so next up, we do have... My favorite, and the figure that I want so, so, so badly. Like, if I got this figure, it would be the Holy Grail of my collection. And, like, ever since I laid eyes on this figure, I've always wanted it. The Deluxe Classic Superstars Limited Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. He comes with four, six belts, a little trophy plaque, I guess you can say. The Austin 316 shirt than the normal figure. I've seen people have this in their collection, like, of course, Zack Ryder, a.k.a. Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, um, a guy named Matt, um, I forget his name at the top of my head, um, but yeah, I've seen this in collections, and it is really, really making me jealous, um, for the figure, but 
definitely a rare figure, and I'm I want to get this so badly. I think it's going around for like a thousand dollars right now, maybe seven fifty. Can't remember off the top of my head. It's either seven fifty or a thousand dollars for this figure, and I've only seen like one listing on eBay so far. There might be figures, uh, this Stone Cold figure, on other websites, but I've mainly looked at eBay because I'm f considering purchasing purchasing this for my own collection. Um, and I will, I won't unbox it, but I might do, like, a video of just, like, the box and everything inside of it, because this is a figure that is definitely not worth opening. Um, just the box and everything is amazing on it. Next up, we do have the Ringside, um, Fury Unmatched, um, Undertaker action figure. Um, this is a glow-in-the-dark figure, um. And they had a couple of these. This is one of 100 right here. So again, it is really, really rare. Um, as you can see down here, it's a limited edition glow in the dark figure. And yeah, next up we are actually this glow in the dark, which I think is very cool. And the box is also amazing as well, in my opinion. Next up, we do have the classic superstars Ultimate Warrior figure. This one is signed by him as well, and. Like the not like the other one. This one is actually painted a full figure. There's a tire on, um, and his boots and everything, and a title on it. Um, a very rare figure, but also a very very cool figure. So that is all that I do in fact have for today's video. So if you all did enjoy, please smash that like button. Um, and also. If you have any of these figures, let me know, because I'm really, really curious, especially, especially that Deluxe Classic Stone Cold figure, um, and let me know what you guys think is some of the rarer, um, Jax action figures. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video, and of course, I will see you guys next time.